We're up at Barmer National Park on the Murray River. We're undertaking a research project on these beautiful creatures, which are the Murray spiny crayfish. They're part of a 15-year uh, research program funded by the Murray-Darling Basin Authority on looking at the population dynamics of crayfish in the region. Unfortunately, Murray spiny crayfish have suffered severe declines in their abundance and distribution over the last hundred years. Part of that's due to their unique biology. They're very, very slow growing. They live a long time, up to 25 years. They mature late, so probably at eight to nine years of age, and they have limited mobility. So all of those characteristics set them up to being subject to over exploitation through harvesting. Unfortunately for them, yeah, their numbers are still in decline. Some of the indicators for us as researchers of uh, problems with over harvest and fishing for the species, uh, unequal sex ratios because of the take of males predominantly and a change in the size structure along with changes in abundance over time. We can only take those animals that we truly need for food consumption. Otherwise, have a good look at them. They're beautiful animals and just put them back. Some of the work that we've been undertaking recently is on the movement patterns, whether females and males move similarly or not. And we're also trying to eliminate bias in sampling. Spiny crayfish play a key role in nutrient cycling as they consume a lot of detritus and they're a key food source for other large bodied species such as Murray Cod and Golden Perch. Researchers from the Arthur Isler Institute are trying to collect information to better manage the species and to conserve them into the future. <music>